Let's check out how a breadboard looks on the inside. It's one thing to see how a breadboard is uh, hooked up or learn how it's hooked up, but uh, it's quite another to just see how it is, and it'll, I hope it's uh, obvious to you. All right, so here we have a, a half-size breadboard uh, with the uh, strips across the top. We also have a cute little mini breadboard. Uh, it doesn't have the strip across the top, but there's a lot of times that you don't really need the strip, and the small size is uh, is nice. It's even, uh, I don't know, quarter size or third, something like that. All right, so if you flip it over, well, before we flip it over, you can see just with the light here that you can see these little bits of metal in here, but it's not obvious how they're hooked up. We flip it over, we just have double-sided tape and uh, foam stuff, same thing on the other one. And uh, if this was my personal one, I would be hesitant to do what I'm about to do. Well, I won't do it live, but what I did is I took the double-sided tape and I ripped it off. Cleaned it up a little bit for uh, for this, and now you can see how it is that the, we have five across the top here. So or five, so, whoops, and do like this. Okay. Another thing that we can do to give a sense on how these are actually hooked together is uh, get the edge under here. Work that out. The clip is five fingers. This one's uh, bent in just a little bit from me uh, pour, uh, pulling it out. Uh, five fingers and the breadboard thing or the uh, pins, wires go in here and pull them out a little bit. There's a little bit of a shape there and you can see that it's already bent out a little much. Uh, fairly easy to damage. It's thin metal but they work. Hopefully it's obvious now which way connections go in a breadboard and uh, what's going on. Another thing, a uh, final note, you can see that uh, because there's this gap here, they're a little bit rounded, holes. Uh, if you have a wire that's a little too small, so it's a little too narrow or fine or small diameter, you can fit in here, but it won't fit nicely or it won't have a nice uh, solid friction fit. You can feel that with your fingers as you're bringing it in. Uh, if that's the case, then you'll end up with a flaky connection. It'll be kind of loose, and uh, that's no all sorts of uh, problems. The other breadboard is this one, and uh, we'll see what the strips across the top look like. In fact, it is. Hey, there we go. Same uh, five breadboard things here. Five strip, and then these on the top are strip across the top this is a piece of metal bridges it so we have a piece of metal that goes all the way across the fingers are the same and that is why we have a group of five and blank spot that and these are connected all the way across you flip it over it's obvious that they are of course connected all the way across final thing is that they're not connected across this way across the gap physical gap it's kind of uh, visual there uh, it. hopefully that was helpful to see how a breadboard is hooked up hooked together and uh, now you can visualize the picture in your head thanks for watching